You recently faced uh, some health battles. I'm crook, mate. I'm real crook. <laughs> uh, yes, I, um, I did. Over a period of a couple of years, I became more and more tired, pain in the limbs, and in the end, swelling in the knees and around the ankle and everything. Look, I've got to do something about this. So I, you, you kind I, of ignored it for two years? Yeah, oh, or, or I just thought I was getting older. Yes. I thought, geez, old age comes on quickly. <laughs> I'm in my 70s. Yeah. And it feels like, you know, wow. <laughs> it's that bloke thing, yeah. yeah. Head down, yeah, and no, I sure. You, you a bit of pain? Yeah, a little bit. It's okay. Keep going. And then I go to the doctor. So he does a scan. No, there's nothing wrong there. But when the blood test came back, straight into hospital. Now, they reckon I was about 48 hours away from dying. Wow. But the thing about end-stage renal failure is it's not that painful. You just go to sleep and don't wake up. We all talk about how it'd be good to die in your sleep. I was about to, and I had no idea about it. But it, to this day, it, it gives me a shudder to think that within a couple of days, Lee would have woken up and I would have just been cold alongside her. Pretty wild. Doing something involves quite a lot of dialysis. It does. It involves dialysis. 15 hours a week. It's five hours a session, three sessions a week. And I haven't felt this well for maybe five years. Wow. Jack's back. Yeah. With dialysis allowing him to complete his work on the passion project High Ground, and with more films on the way, Jack's new lease on life has given him plenty to reflect on. What have we been put on this planet for? What's life about, Jack? I have to say, uh, I think that's an impertinent question. We're here. This is it. You want a reason for this? You want a purpose for this? How arrogant. Life itself is a joy. I hope that when I am going, I have time enough to applaud. Thank you. Life itself. Celebration. It is.